Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April the 4th of 2021. Well, it is titled in through and beyond Saturn's rings. So what do we see here? Well, the line stretching across there are the rings of Saturn stretching across the middle of the image. And they're seen almost completely edge on from this angle as taken by the Cassini spacecraft that orbited Saturn for over a decade, finally ending its mission by being directed to plunge into the planet back in 2017. Now also present in this image are four of Saturn's moons. And you can see those here. Uh, the two most obvious ones standing out towards the middle, we see in the background, we see the large moon Titan. Titan is one of the large moons of the solar system, and including our own moon and several moons of Jupiter as well. And it is one of the larger moons and it is also the only atmosphere uh, only moon with an atmosphere. So all of the other moons including larger ones around Jupiter and our own relatively large moon have no atmosphere. But Titan has a very thick atmosphere actually comparable to the density of Earth's atmosphere. And in the foreground, just in front of that, we see another of Saturn's rings, and that is Dione. And that is present there. And we can see some of the structure on its surface. It does not have an atmosphere, but we can see some of the structures within it and some a few craters and some very long cliffs, ice cliffs stretching across. And that's one of the things we try to keep in mind when we look at things in the outer part of the solar system, that we might look at something like this and our mind sees it as rocky material. And while there is rocky material that makes up some of these satellites, it is all way down below the surface. And what we actually see is very icy material, water ice as well as methane and ammonia. Now the other two rings are a little harder to find but if you look way off to the right you can see another one of uh, Saturn's rings and that is Pandora and that is one of the shepherding satellites for Saturn's F ring which is a very thin ring out beyond the other other rings and it Pandora actually orbits around very close to this ring and helps to shepherd particles and keep the ring particles there from spreading out. So without the moons, the, the rings would slowly disperse out into space and moons like Pandora do keep this to help to keep them better defined. Now the final moon that we see is Pan and that is located in the Enki gap and you can see that here. And that is responsible for clearing out the Enki gap and causing that even though it's a very small moon, only about 35 kilometers in size, it is still massive enough that over time it has been able to keep this region pretty much clear of ring particles. So we get that gap and we can see it there. And it's caused by that relatively small moon. So here today we get to see a little bit of the rings of Saturn as well as several of its moons. So that was our picture of the day for April the 4th of 2021. It was titled in through and beyond Saturn's rings. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be remaining wisps. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then have a great day everyone and I will see you in class.